Thank you for joining me today. I am standing on the grounds of the historic Mission San Gabriel Archangel in the city of San Gabriel, Los Angeles County, California. This mission is the fourth to be founded by the Spanish Franciscan missionaries in the 18th century. In total, there are 21 Spanish missions in California, built along the coastline, starting from San Diego in the south, bordering Mexico, up to Sonoma in Northern California. The missions were built approximately 30 miles apart, about one day's journey by horseback, covering 650 miles total. Most of the statues and artifacts inside the missions came from Spain. There is also artwork made by the native people. Nine of the 21 missions were personally founded by Father Junipero Serra, who was later canonized as a saint in the year 2015. Father Serra is known as the father of the California missions and even as California's founding father. He was the first president of the California mission system. Each of the 21 missions have stories deeply rooted in their past. This mission was built by the native people from the nearby Tongva villages. With the beautiful California landscape also comes natural disasters, primarily earthquakes. Mission San Gabriel Archangel in particular has suffered three earthquakes in the last 252 years and also a devastating fire as recent as the year 2020. Today, I would like to focus on the damage caused by the fire in 2020 and take you inside this historic church three years later. Along with the pastor and priests here, we will share with you the stories of two paintings, each specifically called La Dolorosa, or in English, Our Lady of Sorrows. From the ashes come forth an amazing story of discovery, hope, and rebuilding. From the mission's founding days to the fire of 2020, Our Lady's message through these paintings is one of love, peace, and perseverance. Joining me today are several people who are crucial to the storytelling and are an integral part of the parish. Good morning, my name is Father John Molino. I'm the pastor here at Mission San Gabriel. Hey, good morning. I'm Father Gerald Kumar Balavendra, associate pastor for the Vietnamese community. Much of the artwork in the Mission Church had been removed several months before the fire as part of the ongoing restoration, ahead of the mission's 250th Jubilee celebration. But this La Dolorosa painting was not removed. This painting suffered through the fire and was found two months after the fire by workmen who were cleaning out the debris in September 2020. This artwork was the only one remaining inside the mission church that survived the fire. Our Lady of Sorrows is also known as Our Lady of the Seven Dolors, or in Spanish, La Dolorosa. 
These are names by which Mary, mother of Jesus, is referred to in relation to the sorrows in her life. The seven sorrows of Mary are a popular religious theme and a Catholic devotion. In Christian imagery, Our Lady of Sorrows is portrayed as sorrowful, somber, or in tears. Sometimes she is depicted with one or seven swords piercing her heart. From the prophecy of Simeon to the burial of her son Jesus Christ, these are among the seven sorrows of Our Lady. Let's discuss the first La Dolorosa painting. It shows the Virgin Mary standing in front of a dark landscape. While the artist is unknown, this painting dates back to more than 250 years old. Let's hear from Father John as he recounts the amazing story of this La Dolorosa painting. In May of 2020, uh, during the COVID shutdown, we repaired many of these walls in the old mission. And before the scaffolding was taken down, we rehung the portrait of Our Lady of Sorrows right above this baptistry here. Fast forward to July 11th, the day of the fire, and as we know, the collapse of both the ceiling and the roof knocked the portrait off the wall and into the baptistry. And it fell in such a way that it remained vertical in the baptistry. And the reason why that is important is that, that it saved it from completely being destroyed. If it had fell horizontally, it would have been completely destroyed. And then, of course, it was completely covered by the debris from the roof and the ceiling. So it crashed down, it covered the portrait. Well, during the cleanup and the recovery stage, she was discovered. Our Lady, the portrait of Our Lady of Sorrow was discovered underneath the debris on September 15th, which happens to be the feast of Our Lady of Sorrows. A miracle? Perhaps, right? Well, after intense restoration work on the portrait, you'll see that if you walk with me now, that the restored portrait now has a, a place of pride right here in the sanctuary where she continues to watch over us. The second La Dolorosa painting is smaller and has an alleged miraculous past. It shows the Virgin Mary's sorrowful eyes and her hands clasped in prayer. Fortunately, this artwork was removed from the mission prior to the fire. It is estimated that this painting is 300 years old. The story surrounding this painting dates back to 1771. A confrontation between the Spanish soldiers, Franciscan missionaries, and the native people broke out on August 15, 1771. The Franciscan missionaries came out and unfurled the smaller La Dolorosa painting as a sign of peace and laid it on the ground. According to the biography of St. Junipero Serra, the Tongva people, upon seeing the image of Our Lady, threw down their bows and arrows. Two of the chiefs rushed forward and removed the beads that they were wearing around their necks and placed the beads at the feet of the painting, 
to show their great esteem to the sovereign queen. The natives immediately made peace with the missionaries because they were so moved by the painting's beauty. The day was August 15, 1771, the Feast of Our Lady of the Assumption. Father John, Father Jerry, one of the interesting things about the San Gabriel Archangel Mission here is that it seems like there were major events in history that correlated to key Marian feast days. And I wanted to get your thoughts on it. You had told the story about how the painting was found and how it fell and how that may have contributed to how it survived the damage. Exactly. A miracle exactly. perhaps, right? Exactly. So that day that it was found by the workers was September 15 in 2020. So the fire happened July 11. So about two months, the doors were closed and nobody was allowed to go in there due to safety right, reasons. Sure, sure, sure. So from July 11, 2020 to September 15, 2020 was when the doors opened and the workers found the painting. And the day that they found it was September 15, 2020, which is the Feast of Our, our, Lady, of Sorrow. our Lady of Sorrows. And in Spanish is La Dolorosa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Father Jerry in Vietnamese, Our Lady of Sorrows. Duk Mai Sao Bi. So all of these events, right, from the moment the original small painting was unfurled to basically calm, right, the chaos back in August 1771 to the founding of the mission on September 8, 1771 to the most recent discovery of the, the painting of Our Lady of Sorrow on September 15, 2020. One can only, you know, imagine that there might be divine intervention here, perhaps, maybe. <laughs> yeah, right. What are your thoughts? Is it coincidence or is it miraculous? Yeah. Yeah. And um, I think as people of faith, though, we have to say that it's more than coincidence, right? I, I believe it's more than coincidence. And actually, that's probably why I'm here is I'm a parishioner here and through the years, you know, we grow up, we get married and we move away. But perhaps this story of the Lady of Our Sorrow painting being discovered after the devastation fire, it's, it's very miraculous to me. And yeah. I only knew about it through the news articles that my sister found online and forwarded to me. Yeah. To me, it's almost like the mission bells are still ringing and it calls you back to your roots and to what this was all about. It's about faith, mm -hmm. it's about community, sure. Sure. right? And the Spanish uh, missionaries that came here, right? And what, what contribution and what legacy they left. Right. The Claritians arrived at Mission San Gabriel in 1908. I think that's what we know, the Claritians yeah. have here, yeah. since 1908 until now. Until now. We, more than 100 years now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Father Jerry, Father John, um, my understanding of the uniqueness of this mission is the infrastructure and the materials that were used originally. It was stone, brick, and mortar. And I think because of the sturdiness of it and the basic design, it actually helped mitigate a lot of the damage caused by earthquakes That's over right, the years. Yeah. That's right. right? And yeah. so, I assume that this was the same um, brick, mortar, stone that also was used in the building of, of the mission. Right. Many people think that the mission was adobe, and it was not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it was, you're, you're right. It, it, it was a lot of stone. In fact, there was a place in the mission that, we, that, 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 that shows the original stone wall. Stone wall. I yeah. saw that. Yeah. And I think that was done after the recent fire Yes. during the restoration yes. Yes. to purposely expose the stone walls so that people can actually see what exactly. was actually exactly. uh, inside. Well, I said the parts of the, um, the, the mission now are kind of like a little museum. There's another thing that we, that, that we put a frame around that shows the different colors paint of the paint. It, it, we, did, we did a paint analysis mm -hmm. and it shows the different colors that the walls were at different periods. Oh, mm. you know? yeah. Now they're white. And <laughs> as you can see, and I, I, I don't know, I, I, it used to be much more either colorful, colorful. or gaudy. 
<laughs> I don't know which one, but uh, I, li I like the simplicity of it now. I, I feel like the, the restoration has brought it back to a simpler, to a, to a simpler time. Sure. Yeah. And this in the back is... This is, this is in process. It'll probably be done by the end of the summer. Um, but this was, um, this will be a sacred space for, for the, the indigenous people who were here originally. So this is, this will be a native garden. Very nice. yeah. So Father Gabriel, you are also one of the priests here at the Mission San Gabriel Archangel, along with Father John and Father Jerry. On July 11, 2020, when the fire broke out here at the old mission, where were you? I was soundly asleep. <laughs> it was because it was early in the early hours of the morning. And then the first thing I know, noticed was Father John knocking at the doors of the priests. And he woke us up telling us that there was a fire. So we needed to get ready for evacuation any moment. And that's what we did that morning. And was it around 2 a.m. in the morning? Or? I think it was a little later. Later. It later. was like, uh, I remember around 4.25 yeah. something or 4.30. 4 yeah. yeah. When I woke up, when someone knocked at my door, they said, fire, fire, fire. So I opened my window from my, actually from my room, there's a window. I could look the, uh, look at the mission. It was actually at the front. The I saw the little fire. But I think in 15 minutes, we came down, taking uh, like a, just dressed up, we came down. The fire reached towards the- It was uh, the, heavy smoke heavy, and then yeah. it broke out. Yeah, no? broke out so, so fast, really, no. really fast. It was so like, there were plenty of people and all these uh, fire uh, uh, Truck. trucks coming, we making sounds, protecting it, everything. It was a very sad day, yeah. a very sad day for us, for the people, because of what this place means, you know. Yes. Yeah. But thank God, you know, we're coming out of it uh, at this time. As uh, we are called as the resurrection people now. Yeah. So we will, I think this experience is something, maybe I don't want to say it should have, uh, it should be that way, no. But maybe this is a blessing. This became a blessing. Yes. I think because of this now, it has like, uh, we have a lot of blessings. Yes. It has become known place now, the, the place, uh, the center, center for, you know, attraction now, center for visitation, center for, you know, people would like to know what happened there. Now let's go and see. Uh, what, is, what is there something special there, you know, I think a lot of experience. Well, also the very special thing about this place is that the faith, the Catholic faith, yeah. this is the beginning in the Archdiocese, the yeah. first place where the faith uh, came to life, you know, the, the, the first seeds of the faith mm -hmm. were planted here. And thank God, you know, they've been flourishing you know, since then, since about 250 years. And I believe it's also the first church and parish that had the Vietnamese community formed in the Los Angeles County right. as well. In 1771, the smaller La Dolorosa image created peace and quelled violence. In 2020, the discovery of the larger La Dolorosa painting after the fire gave the community the peace and courage to rebuild. One can say that there are two miracles at Mission San Gabriel Archangel, one in 1771 and the other in 2020. Three years after the fire, the restoration effort still continues. The fire has reminded the community of how special this mission really is. On June 27th, we celebrated the grand opening and blessing of the Mission San Gabriel Archangel Museum, featuring the newly curated exhibit. The mission, museum, and grounds are now open to the public. A garden dedicated to the natives is in the process of being built on the grounds. Mission San Gabriel Archangel was one of the most successful and productive of all the California missions. At its height, it had 100 
70 acres of land. Productive vineyards and cattle raising were part of the commerce. From here, the seed of faith began and became the core of the city of Los Angeles and the Catholic faith. Today, it is still standing, tall and proud. Its simple but basic engineering, fortress-like design, enabled it to withstand natural disasters and man-made forces. It is sacred grounds for the Dongva people, where over 5,000 natives are buried. It is the first and oldest cemetery in California. The Dongva natives still call San Gabriel their home, and their ancestors' legacy still lives on centuries later. Our Mufoka gem and Echo gem, together we are one and we are here for the celebration and the opening of the Mission Museum and, and the mission of San Diego. And in the honor, I like to start off with the walk song, an honor song to Holy. Oh, oh, oh. 